أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله أستعينه وأستغفره وأستهديه وأؤمن به ولا أكفره وأؤذي من يكفر وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسول أما بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم نجعل له أينين ولسانا وشفتين وهديناه النجدين فلقت هم الأقبة وما أدراك ما الأقبة صدق الله العظيم I seek refuge with Allah from Satan the rejected in the name of Allah who is most gracious most merciful Alhamdulillah my dear brothers and sisters, once again we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sparing our lives and giving us the health and guidance of coming out and offering our Juma Salah. Praise be to Allah who created for you all the things that are on earth, who knows the secrets of the heavens and the earth and knows what you reveal and what you conceal. He is the master of the day of judgment when one soul shall not avail another nor shall intercession be accepted for her nor shall anyone be helped from outside. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah who chooses for his special mercy whom he wills for he is the Lord of grace abounding. To him belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth Besides him, we have neither patron nor helper. To him belongs the east and the west, and everything render worship to him. He has chosen the fate for you. Then die not except in the fate of Islam. I bear witness that Muhammad, upon whom be peace, is his servant and messenger, the leader of guidance and the chosen messenger to conclude the divine message to mankind. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow his blessings on our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and on his family and companions and on his followers. Alhamdulillah, my dear brothers and sisters, for today's goodbye I have chosen a very simple topic and that is Hifzul Lisan, guarding the tongue. As human beings, one of our greatest assets is our tongue. And here in this surah, in this surah al Balad, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us here, A'uzu billahi mina shaytani rajim, alam najr allahu aynain. ولسانا وشفتين وهديناه النجدين فلقتهم الأقبة وما أدراك ما الأقبة The meaning of which Have we not make for him a pair of eyes and a tongue and a pair of lips and shown him the two highways and this is taken from chapter 90, ayah 8 to 10. And our Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in one hadith narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu an, says more or less, any person who believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the hereafter, let him say good or let him be silent. The concept of guarding our tongue is very important in our lives. It is the tongue that speaks what is in our minds and heart. 
if these organs are pure, honest, and sincere, then we speak the truth for the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for the sake of guiding people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should recognize that whether we speak or whatever we speak is recorded in our book with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And on the day of judgment, our organs are to be witnesses for us or against us. In this respect, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Holy Quran, A'uzu billahi mina shaitanir rajim. Yawma tashahadu alayhim al-sinatuhum wa aydihim wa arjuluhum bima kanu ya'maloon. The meaning of which? On the day when their tongues, their hands, and their feet will bear witness against them as to their actions. And this ayah is taken from chapter 24, ayah 24. My dear brothers and sisters, we are to guard our tongues and make sure that we do not talk at all useless. It is for, this, it is for the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, each one of us should ask why, when, what, where, how often, to whom, and for how long, and for what purpose I am to talk. If each one of you asks your, uh, yourself these questions, he will really reach a high degree of Iman. For these, and our Holy Prophet wasallam narrated, in the hadith, Sal bin Sa'ar radiallahu anh, narrated that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever assures me what is between his beard and mustache, as well as between his legs, I will assure him Jannah, paradise. And another hadith, Abu Musa radiallahu and said O messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who is a better Muslim he said it is he the one where Muslims are safe from his tongue and hands and in another hadith Udba radiallahu and said O messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam what is safety he said Control your tongue. Let your house preoccupy you and weep for your mistakes. My dear brothers and sisters, once it was said, May the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon the one who kept silent or quiet and was saved or spoke and he earned a lot. And the other saying is, Silence is wisdom. However, very few act accordingly. And another saying, most of the mistakes of the children of Adam are from his tongue. Most of the mistakes of the children of Adam are from his tongue. My dear brothers and sisters, remember Prophet Ibrahim salam and his dua that he made and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inform us about that dua. A'uzu billahi mina shaitanir rajim. Waj'al li lisana sidikin fil akareen. The meaning of which, grant me honorable mention on the tongue of truth amongst the latest generation. Chapter 26, ayah 84. My dear brothers and sisters, Muaz bin Jabal radiallahu and asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a series of questions and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam answered him one by one. The last question of that series was about the tongue and it is the tongue that leads a person to heaven or hell. The Prophet peace be upon him said to Muaz shall I inform you with the best of all. 
He said, Yes, O Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam held his tongue with his hand and said, Stop this. Muaz said, O Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, are we to blame for what we are to speak? And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Your mother is to bereave you. Don't you know that people will be thrown in hell? On their faces because of the results of what their tongues speak. My dear brothers and sisters, we are accounted for what we speak, and everything we say, it is recorded for us or against us. Therefore, we should speak what is good and the best. We should control our tongues, and this is very hard for us. Many of us cannot control our tongue, especially when we are hungry. Especially when we are angry. My dear brothers and sisters, and the Prophet saw two brothers arguing and quarreling with one another. And he said, I know of a phrase. If they say, then they will be, you know, ease at ease. And that is A'udhu Bilahi Mina Shaitan Rajib. We should control our tongues. None should backbite, defame others, or spread rumors against any person. Each one of us should look at our own mistakes and then should try to clean himself and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness and guidance. My dear brothers and sisters, instead of being busy with the mistakes of others, we should be preoccupied with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in this respect, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Holy Quran, A'uzu billahi mina shaitanir rajim Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu zukurullah zikran kasira O you who believe, remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with, with much remembrance and glorify him morning and evening. Chapter 33, ayah 41 and 42. Also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala demanded us to remember him as well as to thank him for all the favors he has done for us. In this respect, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again reminds us in the Holy Quran, A'uzu billahi mina shaitanir rajim Fazukuruni azukurukum wa shukuruli wa la takfurun And the meaning of which, Then do you remember me? I will remember you. Be grateful to me and reject not fate. Chapter 2, Ayah 152. My dear brothers and sisters, our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reminded us how to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In one hadith narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu an, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Two words are very light on the tongue, very heavy in the scale of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And very dear to the most merciful. They are Subhanallahi wa bihamdihi and Subhanallahi al azim That is, glory be to Allah and praise be to Him. Glory be to Allah the most great. My dear brothers and sisters, <coughs> let us ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for His forgiveness. As human beings, we are weak and we make mistakes every day. We commit sins every day. But we have the solution also which to wipe out these mistakes. Let us ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. Rabbana la taj'alna fitnatal lil qawmi zalimin. Our Lord, make us not a trial for the unjust people, 
and do you deliver us by your mercy for the unbelieving people. <coughs> so alhamdulillah, my dear brothers and sisters, our tongue, let us use our tongue in such a way that we could gain that Jannah, that we can gain the closeness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that we can, you, you know, and save us from that hellfire, from Jahannam. And our tongue could do that for us. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guard us against the evil of our hearing, our sights, our tongues, and our hearts. May he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, guide us among those who, who, whose he has guided aright and preserve us among those he has preserved. May he take us for friends among those who he has befriended. May he guard us from the evil of that which he has ordained. May he make light in our hearts, light in our sight, light in our hearing, light in our tongues, and light in our souls. May he forgive our sins and open for us the gates of his mercy. بارك الله لنا ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعنا وإياكم بآيات الذكر الحكيم إنه تعالى جواد كريم ملك بر الروح الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله نفمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مدل له ومن يدلله فلا هادي الله ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد بعداد من صلى وصام اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد بعداد من قاد وقام وصل على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى كل ملائكة المقربين وعلى إباد الله الصالحين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين إباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإيسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفخشاء والمنكر والبغ يا إذوكم لعلكم تذكرون ولا ذكر الله تعالى أولى وأولى وأعز وأجل وأتم وأهم وأكبر أقيم الصلاة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر